Welcome back crypto gamers today I'll be telling you the top 5 upcoming games in 2022 and these games are released these games are free beta released and some of the games have also released the release dates and they'll be coming up soon and also one game in the list has also released the first ever version in MMORPG 3D type of world and this will be the first version of the game this will be the first play to one game which has got until the point of MMORPG uh, third person world because we are talking that no other MMO uh, I mean play to earn game has ever reached this point because all of them have just announced their releases but no game has actually released and one game on this list has actually released so we are talking about the first game starting with Duranius Duranius is an upcoming Gala games from the creators of Gala games and this game has a lot of scope and future in the uh, in my opinion because this game has not only uh, the way you're saying this is just a better version and it still has a lot to come it'll be chopping of wood there will be a lot of trading it will be trading from other players and not only you can just trade from uh, the computer to your or uh, to your screen but you can actually trade from player to player trades and you can actually trade from merchandises and merchants and a lot of uh, blacksmiths and a lot of things you can be trading it's an MMORPG type of game and you can uh, earn in a lot of mining areas. The second game we are going to be talking about is Nan Island Sword Why I call this game Solana Sword I've got so many comments in the uh, comment sections in my videos because this game is actually the name of the game is Arori A U R O R Y. But why do I call it Solana's Array? Because it works on the Solana's blockchain. And the Solana's blockchain has been one of the best MMO, I mean one of the best Play-to-Earn games. Because Solana's blockchain is very much better than Ethereum blockchain and uh, Satoshi's blockchain. Because why are we comparing it to Ethereum's blockchain? Ethereum is very good in other things, but when it comes to play to earn, it has such high amounts of gas fees that you cannot imagine. If you get like for example uh, NFT Gaming got $80 from one of his games and only the uh, the gas fees was $50 so you're just not getting anything plus also MetaMask will put gas fees on top of it so there's no use of it after that we're coming to our next game is none other than The Nemesis The Nemesis is a 3D metaverse type of game it's one of the only metaverse games I've played right now and it's one of the best games you can actually have a 3D metaverse in which you can in game have video calls and talk with the creators themselves. The posters, the billboards, the advertisements, the art pieces inside the game. You can explore so many things the museums, the buildings, the houses, the different types of uh, worlds. One time I went into a world where you have to complete a quest where there's uh, those things of bouncing, uh, bouncing and going to a mountain. So you bounce, bounce and go to a mountain and then you can come back and when you complete the quest you get a uh, amount of good of their in-game currency and this in-game currency help you a lot because they can transfer them into USD dollars and other currencies. There is also in their, in their own cloud world which is their home city you can also participate in the daily challenges of the game and there are very many daily challenges every day there is a new daily challenge and there is a new daily gift. If you find the new daily gift you just have to find it if you find the new daily gift you can earn a lot of money and a good amount of money but you just need to find it it's not so hard to find it actually coming to our next game is uh, the sandbox the sandbox is one of the games in which looks a lot like uh, the game I've been talking about in the comment section which people have been talking about in the comment section Roblox Rob it's also like Roblox but it's much much better than Roblox and also it's a play to earn so it's a win-win for both the creators of the game and and the players of the game because they have never seen a game like this before you can actually beat players you can actually have a lot of fun in this game and you can create your own games and you can also put them on the marketplace for earning you can also sell them and you can also buy land and then rent out a place and then create your own games and start renting them out like for example i'm an arena right now i'm in a warehouse right now which has several games and these all games of all of these games were created by users here so all these games in this arena in this warehouse were created by users and if i want to play them i have to play a small amount of fee a very small amount of fee which does not even compare but when hundreds and thousands of players start playing uh, their mini games that's how they start earning and we have fun they also get some money and the creators of the games also get acknowledged and get their profits from the game 
that's it for today's video uh make sure you like the video